Get up, get out, get around, and do it, do it! Hey, what's going on, guys? How's everyone doing today? I'm doing well for now. Thank you for asking. It won't be long, I'll be a sweaty mess. But for now, I'm doing okay. Well, it's rained a good bit of the day. I decided not to get out and go for a ride. So I'm on my trainer. Got the timer on my phone set for an hour. Fixing to start up some video. Entertain myself. Got my towel. Got my mouse. Got my phone taped to my bike. Got some water within arm's reach. And I forgot to turn my fan on. That's just the way it goes. Well, I'm going to pedal a little bit and enjoy my virtual ride here in my house. Let's do this. I feel like I should be wearing my helmet. I don't push myself super hard on the trainer. This is only my third time on it. I ride it, you know, within just a, a normal pace. Just like when I'm on the road, I'm not in a hurry. Uh, I do have moments where I'll put it in the hardest gear. Uh, go for it. Well, actually, the first two times I rode, I think I kept it in the hardest gear. But right now I'm not. Because I just jumped on and I thought, well, I'll put it in the easier gear. A little bit easier gear. I don't know what gear. For those of you uh, uh, in the market or in, you know, kind of wondering or tinkering with the idea of getting a trainer, uh, just know that uh, you don't have to have a big, expensive, wonderful, completely working bicycle to put it on a trainer. Case in point, this bike has a flat front tire. Matter of fact, it has two different tires on it. Um, my front brakes are unhooked. I don't even have a rear brake at all on it. And the rear tire goes flat uh, over a period of time. So, you know, as long as, as long as your bike is good enough for, you know, 30 minutes, an hour, whatever, on the trainer, then you're good to go. Or if you have a or, or if you only have one bike or something, just, you know, then you got your good bike, you throw on there. But, luckily, luckily I didn't throw this one away. I kept it, and I'm using it for this. So, it's always good if you can uh, find a, another use for things that you got. And this worked out just fine. So, there we go. Ooh. Oh, goodness. Sorry. I'll never try to get a different camera angle again. Ever. Well, until the next time I do. Always remember to bring yourself a towel to wipe off with and put a towel on the floor too because uh, you'll sweat a lot uh, even if you don't push real hard on these things you're going to sweat pretty good uh, I know the first the first time that I used it I didn't put anything on the floor it was probably an eighth of an inch of just sweat all around so 
Of course, I sweat a whole lot. So I'm going to pedal for a bit. I'll check back in a little. Wish me luck. guys hanging in there Ooh. got about 26 minutes left just got done watching a video on uh, one of the channels I'm subscribed to on YouTube uh, Sid and Mackie I enjoy their channel uh, they seem like good decent people and, uh, they do uh, some interesting things sometimes, and, and uh, they also uh, connect with their uh, subscribers uh, quite often in the comments and stuff like that, which I enjoy because, uh, number one, uh, not everyone does that. Uh, second, the channels that are that popular and have that many subscribers and stuff like that usually you know, they don't always get around to doing stuff like that. So, it's nice to uh, support channels like that. And, you know, uh, I, I do believe they're actually subscribed to my channel. Uh, they don't really comment or anything. But, you know, hey, it's nice that they subscribe. Doing pretty good here. I'm not really pushing hard or anything like I like I mentioned, but I try to keep a, a steady pace. And I think that's just as important as anything uh, on a trainer or out on the road. Just keep a steady pace, you know. Now on the road, it does uh, it does challenge you a little bit more because angles change as you go up and down hills and stuff and uh, my trainer don't offer that they do have trainers that you put the, the front wheel in a, in a little device and it actually raises up and goes down and kind of gives you a little bit more uh, of an experience but I have no need for all that and on the road I can uh, Sometimes I'll stand up for just short distances once in a while. I'll stand up and, and pedal and kind of get on it and uh, get the heart rate going. And it's a little easier to do when you're on the road. Uh, I feel like I'm going to break the trainer and the bike whenever I stand up on this thing. So I just stay seated and pedal it out. It's a good little workout though. It's definitely better than doing nothing. You know? 
uh, if the weather is not favorable or maybe you ran out of time and didn't get to go out, you know, you got a trainer and jump on it, 30 minutes, hour, whatever you want, comfort of your house. It's a good idea to have a fan going because uh, in your house, obviously there's no real moving air like there is outdoors. Uh, you'll hear me complain on some of my videos about the wind, but the wind and air are two different things. <laughs> you know, having a kind of a strong, annoying wind uh, can bog you down and slow your ride down and really make it painful, but almost coming to a stop at times. It's been so bad, I've gone down big hills on the road and uh, the wind was, I was getting such a headwind that it was it would have stopped me if I had not kept that on. <laughs> but the difference in that in air is you know you've got some freshness and fresh air hitting you as you're riding. Uh, regardless if there's real wind blowing or not uh, while you're moving you have the air coming towards you so it gives you a little, a little relief. Even in the hottest of days, it gives you some relief. So, when you're indoors riding, uh, I personally recommend making sure you have a fan. And uh, I got mine blowing from the side over here. That's uh, just because that's where it's hooked up. Uh, you can have it wherever you want it. But it, it feels good to have a little air. Uh, blown across you anyway. So I'm gonna keep pedaling, guys. I'm somewhere in the neighborhood of well, just over 20 minutes left, and I'm gonna start another video here. I can't really have the video going while I'm recording because I'll get copyright. So anyway. You guys get on that trainer, get on that bike, push it out. 20 minutes left, we can do it. Guys, we got three and a half minutes left. Now one thing for certain about trainers over riding on the road is, well, you lose a little bit of the realism, but at the same time, uh, there's no traffic. You're not having to stop for stop signs or traffic lights or you know traffic, anything like that. So really, at the end of the day, you're you're going farther, and in my opinion, getting just as good, if not a better workout, on a trainer. Two and a half minutes. Doing good. Now I 
don't believe I'm burning the same amount of calories doing this the way I'm doing it uh, versus going to ride on the road in the middle of the day, sun beating down on me, you know. But you're still burning more calories than you would if you didn't ride at all, you know. Better than sitting in my desk, you know. Uh, I can burn calories for this hour and feel good about myself. Now these rides don't go on my Strava, but I am keeping track of them in my notebook. And I can guess how far I'm going. My average speeds on the road are uh, uh, over my entire ride is usually 12 miles an hour. So, I can assume I'm going about 12 miles in an hour. I might be going farther because I don't stop. Or I could be going the same or less because I'm not going fast down a hill. But we'll just say for poops and giggles, probably going about 12 miles, which is good with me. 24 seconds left, guys. <sighs> 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right. We got our hour in, and since I stopped long enough to get off and put the dog up, which takes about 10 seconds, I'll go an extra couple seconds here. All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed going along with me a little bit that I filmed. Hope I give you a little bit of inspiration. Uh, to not only get in a little bit of cardio, a little bit of exercise, ride a bike, but to do anything that you love, enjoy, uh, have a passion for, uh, no matter what it is. That's what my channel is about, and I hope that's what you uh, get out of it. So guys, get up, get out, get ready, do it to it. Even indoors, on a trainer. Hey, I didn't have any dogs chase me. We'll see y'all later. Peace. Get up, get out, get ran, and do it, do it!